Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a recipe for Snickers Brownie Bites. These bars are absolutely delicious and are sure to be a hit with your family and friends. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need a box of brownie mix and the ingredients to prepare the brownies. You're gonna need some chocolate chips, some marshmallow cream, peanut butter, roasted peanuts, and caramels. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by preparing my brownies um, based on the package directions. And I am following the directions for cake mix brownies um, instead of the fudge-like brownies. So I've got my eggs in the bowl. I just added in my brownie mix. And now I'm going to add in my water and my oil. I've already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And once I get everything all mixed up, I'm going to add the brownie batter to my um, nine by 13 pan. And I'm just gonna bake these brownies I don't know, for about 25 minutes. All right, I've got my batter all mixed up and I've got my pan greased. And once these have baked, I'm gonna let these cool completely before I can move on to next steps. Okay, so my brownies have cooked and they are completely cool. And so now I'm going to work on the nougat portion of the bars. Okay, so in my bowl, I have the marshmallow cream and I also have my creamy peanut butter. And I am just going to mix it with a hand blender until everything is nice and combined. Okay, got my nougat mixture combined, and this is what it looks like. It is very, very stiff. And so what you're gonna do is put your nougat mixture on top of your cooked brownies. And you're just gonna spread it out the best that you can. Now, if you wanna use your hands and get in there, that's fine. I may end up having to do that. If you decide to do that, I would spray your hands with some cooking spray or just use some butter and, uh, which I'm doing right now, cooking spray, and then just spread it out the best that you can. Okay, got my nougat mixture all spread out. Next, I'm going to take my unwrapped caramels, some heavy whipping cream, and I'm just gonna microwave um, this in increments until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so my caramel is melted. I'm just gonna pour this over the top and spread it out. Okay, so I got the caramel layer spread out. A couple of tips I wanna give you about the caramel is one is that I had to add about a tablespoon more of heavy whipping cream than the recipe called for. The other is that the caramel is pretty hard to spread out, but once you put it in the pan, it starts to harden up. Just use your fingers. See what I mean? It's, it's kinda like hard. You can use your fingers and kind of pull it to the edges of the, um, of the pan because it's pretty hard to spread, like with a spatula or anything. Um, but now, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my peanuts, spreading them around, and then just pressing them into the caramel. And once I have that done, I am going to place this in the refrigerator for about half an hour until it hardens up. Okay, so I ended up refrigerating my bars for about 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is take a sharp knife that I've sprayed with cooking spray, and I'm just gonna cut these bites into, these bars into little bites. Okay, so here are the bites, and I cut up as many as would fit on the pan, and then I melted my chocolate chips. What I found um, is the easiest thing to do is to turn the bites upside down when you're cutting them um, so that the peanuts don't come off, because the peanuts will come off. And it's also easier just to spread your chocolate on top instead of um, dipping the tops in the chocolate because your peanuts are gonna come off. 
So I'm just putting some chocolate on top and then I'm just gonna spread it with a knife or with your spatula, either way. And then like I said, you're just gonna let those bites harden. So here are the brownie bites. My chocolate has hardened up nicely. It's been about an hour and a half. This is a pretty simple dessert. There are quite a few steps, but they're easy. Now the most time intensive part is spreading that chocolate on the brownie bites, but they are absolutely delicious. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.